the untold story of the GQs. Day one, niggas. When the North Las Vegas is most notorious sets. Words from the forefathers and founders of the legendary GQs. The Carl Wesley interview. Featuring Damn, even back then? Even back then. See that that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, but we need yeah, we need you know, to get all that information because all that shit ties I, in, man. All that shit ties in, you know. Yeah, definitely. Nobody else was big enough. We were the only big enough group. Damn. I mean, y'all was y'all was deep from the start, man, weren't you? We was yeah, we was deep every but you gotta look at everybody at Jim Bridget went from Jim Bridget from Corner McCall to Jim Bridget to Rancho. Was already a close knit family group of people anyway. Mm-hmm. Everybody played football, baseball, basketball together. Everybody was already damn near there. Okay. Once we kicked off into the GQ, it was like the whole community just absorbed the GQ. Okay, yeah. That was like, yeah, they accepted the whole squad. Yeah, yeah, I remember that shit, yeah. Well, yeah. And I, I remember when uh, I had branched out, we said, man, we need to branch out. We had branched out at the basic high school. We took off in the Henderson. We had started GQs in the Henderson. Damn. Damn. They started, then I, I remember my sister texting them out there. Okay. Uh, drinking and shit, getting high at the basketball court. Okay. We them niggas, and when we started recruiting them, uh-huh. that's when I went out there and said, man, we're going to bring the lead out here. Okay. And they brought me out there. Damn, recruiting them and making sure they was I official. Put them niggas on. Yeah. But they wouldn't yeah. beat me. They would talk about me, but they never would meet me. Okay, they didn't They didn't know you. Okay. But, yeah. Right, but they heard of me, but they never met me. So when it's time to come meet me, y'all need to be prepared. This is the nigga y'all gonna be. This, this the nigga right here. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the so nigga y'all gonna be dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. yeah. Well, and what now would we you say? Innocent. What would you say the start of y'all run was? It late seventies, eighties. The late seventies. And y'all was stick up in Rancho too, wasn't you? Yeah. Very. Yeah. Yeah. Then you yeah. got the Northside Santos, you got the Little Loco. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got 28th Street. 28th Street, you know yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these, these Northside Santos and the Little Loco, we was allies with them when they fought the 28th Street. Damn, y'all clicked up with them too? Yeah, when they fought 28th Street. Then what about then what about White Street? Late on, like after like in the 90s, I was hearing about White Street. Was that part of y'all shit too? White Street was all of them grew up together. They just branched out. I think the dope game separated them. Yeah, yeah. So the they, they, was, they was they was more of the dope game era, wasn't it? Huh? They was more from the dope game era, huh? Right, right. Yeah, they came yeah. in on the dope game era. Okay. That's when Aaron and them and uh, that did that boy uh, them came. Okay. What about A B M? A B M was A B M was A B M a branch off of y'all shit too? A B M was a branch off of us too. Everybody yeah. was a branch off of the dance. Everybody will branch off of the Don. See, that's, that's what we got to do, the tree. We got to do the, 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 the uh, that's what we got to do, the GQ tree. Right. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. You know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. You, we wasn't fighting against you. You niggas on the, uh, we all on the same set. We on the same team. Yeah, you yeah. Got the, you got uh, Del Monaco. Yeah, okay. You know was, what I'm saying? Was y'all beefing they with them? North side, they, North, they, North, they was a uh, North Town gangster. We North Town, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they was they was NTGs. Yeah, the NTGs. That's that was Del Monaco. That was Del Monaco. NTGs was uh not Del Monaco, not Del Monaco. Del Monaco was BTD. Okay. What is that? Regal State. Regal States, Regal okay. NTG. Wow. North Town that's that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of yeah, shit, like, man. Grover them, Grover them was over there and uh uh um. BTDs, we was a, we, we was linked with them because we all was from Northtown, mm. so we was all connected. When they fought against the Gushers, mm-hmm. we we allied with them. Yeah, y'all was the superpower. Nobody big enough. To no, fight against no, them, nobody, man. man. For a minute too, huh? huh? Yeah. For a minute too, it was like that, huh? Yeah. 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 When the only group that could stand against the Gushers was us. God, Lee, that's crazy, man. That was the only because nigga was. The, Boy, that's because you got to realize we have baby GQs. I, I remember the baby GQs. GQs. I remember the baby GQs. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, that, that, was the, that was the young that was the young cats that wanted to get in, wasn't it? Yeah, 
Yeah. When yeah. they graduated to the GQ, nigga, they was on. They was you official. Know, they were putting in more work than we were. Yeah, yeah, because they, they wanted to get their stripes, didn't they? They wanted to get their stripes, nigga, and then... You got to, and they'll look, when the girls was having babies, uh-huh. we put them on them baby GQs. Baby G, <laughs> hey, literally baby <laughs> GQs, yeah. <laughs> Born in the game and shit, yeah, yeah. Born in the game. Now these niggas is down the streets now. Yeah, they down the streets. Yeah, they down the streets. Baby, baby GQs, they down the streets. They down the streets, yeah, yeah, they down the streets. Yeah, yeah, they down the streets. Yeah, yeah, what do you think made, uh, how this shift from, uh, from, uh, from GQs to Donna? When, when did that shift happen? When we all started going to prison. Okay. Okay. And then it then it changed it changed hands, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. When the, when the, when the, we all started, I went to prison, and the coke when the when the dope era hit real tough. Mm-hmm. That's when the Donna started coming along because they started they started selling more dope and. Then, a lot then, of cats started using dope. You know okay. What I'm yeah. That that shit. That was a shift. That was a shift in the game, wasn't it? It was a very yeah. It was yeah. Shift. We yeah. all went to prison, and then we would you know. And I mean, you know, real life, life is real. That you have to relinquish over to what you know. They up and coming. They up and coming. Yeah, yeah. Not banging no more. They yeah, bang. yeah. They they bang. It was like the next era. Of that shit wasn't it. Right. It was, yeah. It was truly the next era. Yeah. 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 The next era. It yeah. was like old school banging no more. Now you got a new era of banging. Yeah. These yeah. These guys, man, doing shit, man, and we, you know. When I couldn't play came into play uh-huh. is when we had that big fight with the VBs up at Third World. That's when I gun came into play. Started using guns. We never was using guns until that big fight came along. Is that because y'all was just play. scrapping? Y'all was just scrapping, motherfuckers, huh? Mostly fight. Yeah, Mostly fight. yeah, Everybody yeah. Was fighting. yeah. Yeah, and you had, nice. you had to be nice. You had you had to be nice too. Oh. Now, what made you say as soon as the West Side turned blood? What made them turn blood like that? Well, they turned blood because when we had that big fight at uh at a uh, Third World, that mm-hmm. big fight at Third World, mm-hmm. with them and us. Okay. And June Mathis and his brother Keith, June Mathis and uh, Woody, them look cats came from California. Mm-hmm. West Coast was the first part of the chain. Okay. But the second one was the chain. And West the West Coast was GQs at one time? Yeah, West Coast was GQs right over there by Andre Agassi. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. Okay, right over yeah, there, yep, I yeah. know what you're they talking about. They were the first one to change. When they changed, mm-hmm. when they changed, the whole West Side, West Side changed overnight, man. Damn, West did West it? The niggas had red rags the next day. The next day. But what what influenced that? Did some cats, some cats week, came from... Not a month, nigga. Next motherfucking day. Damn. What, some cats came from, from California with that shit and, like, turn, turned them into it or what? Well, you know, when we got into it with them, and Ricky Cooper, and we got into it with them, automatically we fell apart. Mm-hmm. So now we no longer allies. So here come them, you know, now they fighting against us. Here come the blood thing, you know, June mm-hmm. Max and them. So okay. The, the following week we get into it with them over there. So they, because we found out it was some bloods over there. And that's our turn, so we go over there and holler at them. Mm-hmm. So it was only like three of them, but you know, at that time we had already fell out with Ricky and them, so we said, so the group, we took the boat and said, fuck it. We mm. do it the West Side. We do it, okay, okay, okay. Damn. So when we said that, mm-hmm. we, we just we do it the West Side. Mm-hmm. We said that, them niggas slipped. That was inevitable to happen mm-hmm. because we wasn't up there enough. To control it as we wanted to. Yeah, because y'all was so far and y'all was deep in Northtown, huh? Right. Because yeah. all of them really was on the west side. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was on the west side. Mm-hmm. But my girl was running, my girl was running uh, Madison Terry. She okay. was running that over there. Okay. There was, uh, west side GQ right there. She was running that. Damn. So we had, you know, we, we was just saying, fuck it, man. Them niggas ain't from the north. Yeah, and we yeah. Can't, we can't let it go. Let it go. Yeah, yeah. That was that was the division of that was the division of North 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 Town and West Side right there, wasn't it? That was the division right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that's that's crazy, yeah. man. See all that that whole tree, how all that shit break down like that, man. That see, don't don't nobody know that shit. You know what I mean? Even when I came out here, you know, you know when my oh. brother got in, I just thought the GQ started in North Town. I didn't know this shit was that big though, man. 
Yeah, yeah, man. I didn't know y'all was on the West. And... Some of the police asked me one time, they told us, go where? If anywhere in, this, in, the, in Las Vegas can you go and you have access to a gun? I said, it ain't nowhere in the North, South, East, or West in Las Vegas I can go. Well, I can't have a gun at. Damn, I nowhere. Mean, I, I, I run everything from from the East Side to the West Side to the North Side. Godly, dude. I stationed people in the area. And yes, all over Valley High School, man. All over there. All the way down the east side, that far on the east side, too? Man, we was everywhere. We was everywhere. We was everywhere. Man. I just wanted to control certain parts of where I knew where we were going mm -hmm. and where we was at. There was guns there all the time. Yeah, around. certain certain sections of the town, you know you could dip through there. The yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's, that's, yeah. man, that's deep, man. That's deep, man. Now, what now what made it start on Donna, though? What what made it start on Donna? Well, you know, we start on, because what happened, what, what transpired, is how the shit really started. Mm -hmm. We was, we catch, I lived over on Yale Street. Okay. All the, other, all the rest of them lived over there on Donna. Mm -hmm. And I used to go to Quantum Car. Okay. So when I was going to Quantum Car, the people from, uh, used to get bust down to Quantum Car mm -hmm. from the west side. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. Down, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, and they used to jump. They used to jump, try to jump on everybody in North Las Vegas. Mm. So I, I said, man, I, they would never fuck with me, but I was always fitted. Mm -hmm. But then that, that ain't how the GQ started. Mm -hmm. But I was fighting against them because the Tatum Lockhart was really was the biggest fighting family over there. Was they the Lockharts? Yeah, the Lockhards and the Tatum was the biggest family fighting over there. Because mm. they was the biggest families over there. Damn. Tatum, the, the Lockhards, and the Harvey. Okay. And so, they started doing that. So, so, but nobody, I, I was playing football, and when I come over there, they were like, oh, man, you know, I was going to the Lockhards, and they were like, man, you know, you ain't going to get them girls, because I wanted to be in the drill team. We're going to get them girls. Uh -huh. so I told him, y'all going to bring them up. I mean, it was a big family of them niggas. Right, right. Mm. It was me and the Mexican boy and the Sandoval. Mm -hmm. So I fought them niggas when I was in the Mexican boy. And then all of a sudden, I started recognizing me. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I was, everybody was, they were just recognizing me, but not, we wasn't still no game. The game shit never came to play. Okay. So we went into. Dance. Remember when the pop pockets Yeah, well, that's, yeah, when niggas, yeah, niggas is popping and croaker right. sacks so and started, shit. Right, Donald Ray Davis and me, Skeeter, Earl. Mm -hmm. We were the dance group. We okay. The dance group. Okay. Then, we went into the Mexican boy dance group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, we started dancing with the Mexican boy dance group. Yeah. Then, we Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we was, it was me, Earl, uh, Dexter, Ronnie Morrison. Mm -hmm. well, Dexter and Ronnie Morrison was Gerson. Was that Dexter was a Gerson? Yeah, we were, they was Gerson. Damn. We Dexter, and them, Dexter and Mom and them lived on Donna. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So we go up there and then, they, I've been hearing about Dexter and them, but they've been wanting to be GQ because you know, they were fucking with us like that. But, you know, we were, they do, they was cousins. They said, Carl, we ain't no motherfucking cousins. We want to be GQ. They said, okay. <laughs> so we go to this dance mm -hmm. and they there. Mm -hmm. So, now this is all the Gerson dance. All the mm -hmm. niggas from the Gerson up in there. We up in that dance and pop like against some niggas and shit. Next thing you know, Ronnie Morrison and the Robo get into it. Mm -hmm. Who was Ronnie Morrison? Ronnie, he was a Gerson? Ronnie Morrison was a Gerson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was, he wasn't. He said, fuck you niggas. Nigga, I'm a GQ like that nigga. Mm -hmm. To the right then and there. Okay, okay. Yep. And then we sit in front of Donnelly's house. Because mm -hmm. I said, man, this shit going back, man. These niggas girls is over here, man. Mm -hmm. These niggas always want to fight a nigga every time we go to the club or something, man. So mm -hmm. it's a man, you know, me, it was me, Ricky Tatum, and Donald Ray Davis. That's the GQ start. 
Damn. Now, I was in love with Donna Ray Davis's sister, Veronica. Mm hmm. This record by I, I Do Love You came on by GQ. By GQ, yep. Okay, like, okay. Don Ray was a singer. He knew. I said, Don who sang that song? Mm -hmm. He said, GQ. And I said, man, we ought to name my group the GQ Group. Mm -hmm. Damn, based off that? Based off that. Damn, man, that's that's crazy, man. And they said, well, who going to be the leader? Mm -hmm. I, that's how the Peter play came in. Don Ray said, well, you know, I ain't no fight. I'm a lover. I ain't no fight. I'm a lover. I'm a singer. Mm -hmm. Don Ray is that. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm a thinker. Don Ray said, and he was working at the DI. Mm -hmm. I'll be the, I, I, what I do is, I get all the uniforms. I'll be the, uh, what would you say, like, secretary of state. Okay, okay, state. okay. You yeah. would say that. He handled, he handled okay. that part of it. He handled his shit of it. Yeah. Right, he handled okay. the business part of it. Okay, okay. But now, Don Ray Catano. Mm -hmm. He was an athlete. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't put him in that position to where, you know, he might be going to college. Yeah, he get fucked off or something. Right. Mm -hmm. But me, I'm more accessible because my mother passed mm -hmm. and I was a fighter. Okay. Natural. So that because you doing all the fighting, mm -hmm. you know, you be the leader. Mm. I said, okay. All right, I'll be the leader. Mm -hmm. That's the way it went from that's how That's how it started, man. That's how I started. Me, Ricky Tatum, and Donald Ray Davis. Godly. Because you know the Don name of it. Because you know the name of it is GQ's Day One Niggas. That's the that's the oh, whole right. title. And, that, and it's talking about just like how you said, all the way up from just like that, from the ground up. Man, that is crazy, man. So Donald Ray yeah. was one of the original GQs, huh? Donald Ray was the original GQ. Donald Ray, Donald Ray yeah, he, 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 I mean, you know, to me, to me, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Don Ray was, you know, he was more of, of a, 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 a to me, but Don Ray wasn't a fighter leader. Yeah, but he, he was down. Yeah, he wasn't fighting, but he was down. He took care of shit, though, didn't he? Right. Don yeah. Ray can move out. Don Ray would move the guns. He could mm -hmm. get shit places. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Don Ray, that was, his, yeah, that was his thing. Ricky Tato, you know, he was alongside me. He okay. Was at all. Oh, you okay. I about to say who was yes, yeah, so okay, Sergeant at Arms, yeah. Right. Man, so, that's now, fucking crazy. Now, we separate right there, and now look how Ricky ended up separating from us. Mm -hmm. Ricky little brother Mimo was a hood, was the blood. Mm -hmm. Mimo and uh, us always used to get into it, mm -hmm. and that's Ricky's family. Me and mm -hmm. Ricky best motherfucking friends, like brothers. Mm -hmm. So we met up at Vegas High School, and now forget this was like a fucking thing, like a movie. Mm -hmm. It was three of them. It was Bimo, Ricky, and one. And I, I don't know if it was. It was one of them Lockhart. I mm -hmm. think it was one that passed. Mm -hmm. Dennis. No, it was Dennis. Okay. Me, Earl, and Skeeter. We met up in the middle of Vegas High School, and I said, Ricky, I said, man, I'm not going to put you in position. I can choose between me, GQ, and your brother. And your family. That was some family shit, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, I said, so we going to have to cut ties right here. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake, man. When the shit started, we gon' we gonna have to be at it. Damn, it was like that, man. It was like that. It was just, I'm telling you, man, it shit was, mm -hmm. was out of movie. I said, Ricky, I ain't gonna hesitate because these are my niggas. Yeah. He said, yeah. Carl, I ain't gonna hesitate because these are my niggas, and that's my brother. I said, man, we shook hands, we hugged, and then we separated. See, that's some real G shit right there. That's, that's real G yep. shit. Yeah. So he... He yep. felt like being, because it was his little brother that was a blood, right? He felt more alliance to his little brother as a blood. Than, yeah. And then his, then his little yeah. brother wasn't trying to join the GQs with his big brother. He was trying to do his own thing. He was all you know, their whole family was a hood. Oh. Family, over there. Okay. So he most stay with his family. Ricky just, me and Ricky played sports together. Me and Ricky grew up like brothers. Mm. We were fucking girls together. So me and Ricky was like brothers. So there was no separation there, but I couldn't be fighting against him, man, and trying to kill his brother. Trying to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So down the line, did you and y'all paths ever cross? Yeah, no, man. But now here's the thing, man. Me and Ricky, we, we never separated. Mm -hmm. We never separated. Mm -hmm. Me and Ricky always had that friendship. Okay. Even though we were banging against each other. Me and him was still friends. Still friends, okay. We just okay. didn't interact when the groups was together. Okay. It, 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 hey, it was banging business, wasn't it? 
it was, was a thing it, in business. Yeah, yeah, you the know? business of it, yeah. It, 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 even though it was a thing, mm-hmm. nigga, anything would happen to Ricky, nigga, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, regardless. Yeah, yeah. You regardless. know, regardless. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so he never turned his back on me as well. Right. So, yeah, man, it, it was, it was, you know, it, it, but these are personal stories that people... Yeah, see, that's the in, that's insider shit right there. That, that's that's insider shit that don't nobody know. So man, when when I got to think when Donald Ray passed, man, that had to fuck everybody up, man, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, he used Donald to. My brother told me he used to sing at all the GQ's funerals and shit, huh? He did. He used yeah. to sing at all of them, man. Every man. And then you know you. And the crazy part about it, dude, it was so crazy. He you know, Donald Ray passed. Ricky passed. Oh, and Ricky passed know. too. Ricky passed too. Man. You know, I'm the only one, you know, I'm the only one left, man. For a minute, that nigga, I was like, oh, my God, shit. Am I going to be next? You know, I Damn. Crazy shit. Fuck, man. Hey, that's why this shit need to be told, fam. And me and my brother was talking the other day. He said, man, you look back. He said, it's been like 30 plus years, man, of that shit. Yeah. The niggas, you know, that's a long, that's some niggas' whole lives. You know, whole, I mean, four generations of this hey, yep. I, that's what I'm about to say. You, yep, four generations. Yep. That's crazy, man. That is. That, hey, that's why that shit need to be told and done right, man. Because he was saying like the little shit on the History Channel that the one boy did. He said that was that was misrep- right, right. misrepresentation of the shit too. You know, right, right. Yeah. You know, what we doing is people gonna actually say, man, Carl Wentz is really the one that did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. that. Now, I'm going to tell the truth about the story. See, I got a story to tell the truth about the story. Yeah. So I put his ass out. And this nigga was ran off of Donna years ago. Years ago. The PD, they, they got the people. They, they ran, him off, ran him off years ago. Did they? You know? Yeah. Punk shit. Was, that nigga, he, he ran, we ran it right to the PD. When he got the PD, he got a Playboy bunny in his chest mm. and everything. But he, was on, but he was a Donna at first. He was on Donna. No, he wasn't. He was my cousin. Was he? That's where this recognition comes from. Being my cousin, he ain't getting no motherfucking nothing. Dang! Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That nigga, you know, he ain't had no real credibility. Yeah. Yeah, oh. you say you came to call weather, nigga. Motherfuckers gonna move to the side. Yeah, yeah. Automatically, automatically. Yeah. You know what I'm he got a he got a pass. He got a pass just based on that, didn't he? Yeah, Based yeah. on that, nigga, mm-hmm. but then again, I'm a nigga, my nigga, when we in the penitentiary, nigga, uh, the penitentiary story, nigga, when the niggas came to my door and said, call, this nigga gotta go off the yard, nigga, I mm. ain't going against them, I said, man, man, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah. And nigga said, you gotta go, gotta go, man, I mean, you know, you done did some foul shit before I even came to the penitentiary. Yeah, so yeah, I, I'll, before you, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah, and you couldn't vouch for no bullshit. Been no right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 you know. And we got to do it. Hey, so how long, you know, them meetups y'all do every year? How, when, how long y'all been doing them, man? When did they start? That's our second one. That was our second one. We just, so we just actually started. So the first That's one, the one I was at, that was the first one. The one I filmed was the first that was one. The, huh? That was the very first one. Wow, yeah. man. That, see, that, that's crazy. That's, I'm going to film every one of them motherfuckers every year, too, man. Right. Like, you know, who, you, who put them together? You know who put them together. Yep, yep, who, yep. I already know, yep. Who put that, yep. I already know, yep. If it wasn't for me stepping out, I said, man, it was okay, now, nigga, we can do this. Yeah. I don't that. I just hope they keep the tradition Keep the going. shit going, yeah. I, yeah. And, 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 you know, until the God keep breath of my body, I'm going to yeah. keep it going. Keep the shit going. It's necessary, you know what I mean? It's necessary, right. man. It's definitely you know, necessary. Big yeah. up tomorrow. So next year, man, I plan on having... Really having some bikes and jumpers and shit for the kids. Okay. But this okay. year I got 
goes around with the motherfuckers saying it's gonna bring the jumpers and all that, but I'm gonna have this shit set up way before. Yeah, time. yeah, set it up, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I might not have no 10 jumpers. I ain't trying to. You think, see, the thing about see, this new modern era, yeah. these niggas trying to outdo the them, them West Coast, them hood niggas. But them niggas got a committee with this shit. Yeah, and that's what you gotta have. You get, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have that shit right, and you start right, planning that shit a year out. My yeah. Out this nigga, all this shit out of my yep. Yep. And you know I what? No one to put no money. But you know what? Too, if a motherfucker start a year out and slow walk that shit, it can all get done. Slow right. walk, a motherfucker got to get on the committee. You right, niggas got to do that shit right, man. Do that shit slow walk. That way, when the time come, everybody then chipped in what they could, and, and you know that shit to turn out right, man. That shit to turn right. out right. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it ain't all I can do, man. I mean, no. I got a, I got a, I got a legitimate program. I got a program that I got to run and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. nonprofit. Yeah. I mean, this year now I'm a know I'm gonna get back from Metro. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I know where what the stuff's gonna come from. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Sponsorship and shit like that, donations and shit. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, but then again, what a what a hurt for a nigga that's working, man, to go buy one bike. Come on. Yeah, go buy a bike, man. Miles. Everybody buy something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody buy something, man. You know? It ain't you gonna know, hurt, I mean, man. Because it's gonna be to the kids. It's gonna be for the kids, kids. yeah. It, it, the food and shit is not a problem. Yeah, it's, it's the, the other shit, huh? The yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the bitch and the, the toys that nigga got, you know, the, the mm-hmm. things that gifts that nigga got to have. Yeah, to make it yeah, worthwhile. yeah. Because that, that's to, to the babies, the next, you know, the next kids coming up, man, they want that shit proper too, you know. Right, yeah, right, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's real shit, man, but real that, shit. Yeah, but okay then, man. Like I said, but okay then, man. I'm gonna go. I gotta run over and pick up my car. But just, just holler at me, man. If, um, okay, man, yeah, if you, if you feel like doing anything tonight, it can be some real minimal. You know, maybe a half hour, hour. We can just do segments. You okay, know, we'll. Well, I'm gonna be here when I get back, then. So yeah. I'll call you when I get back. Okay, if you, if you, you know, how depending on how you feel, we can do some real minimal just to break the ground. You know, because I already dropped okay. the picture. I dropped the picture on my little Facebook page on the streets of Vegas to let motherfuckers know it's coming. And uh, it, was a good, it was a good response. I said, you know, we start film production this fall, and uh, y'all look forward to that shit. We starting the production of that shit now, you know. I got okay, the cover yeah. and shit done. I'll show you the cover. Yep, I got the cover and shit done, too. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so hit me up, dog. All right. All right. Bet. All right.